Hi, it's Crea. In this video, I will show you how to transform your Clonex avatar into an augmented reality filter that you can use on Snapchat so that you can rock your very own Clonex in real life. Before we start, make sure to download Lens Studio, which is a free and powerful application to build your very own Snapchat filters. Now, once you're ready, import the Clonex base file into Lens Studio. You can find and download this file in the video description below. On your scene, you will see a human silhouette and a base version of your Clonex avatar, with still no traits loaded. This means that we need to start importing the textures and traits of your avatar to fully customize it. First, let's import the textures. However, before we start, keep in mind that good performance and optimization are key to enable a smooth user experience with the filter. For example, since the textures of the Clonex avatar come as images, which might have a very high resolution, we need to open the textures on a photo editing app and reduce the resolution of each texture. No image texture should exceed a 2048 by 2048 resolution. Once you have resized the textures where needed, drag and drop them into Lens Studio's resources panel. Here, we will need to edit the material of the head object, so click on the Clonex DNA mat, and this will show the material properties in the inspector on the right hand side of the viewport. Each texture provided should have a suffix of either underscore D, N, M, R, and E, and each suffix should be dragged to the respective slots. D goes to base texture, N to normal texture, M to metallic, R to roughness, and E to emissive. If your DNA does not have one of the listed textures, just leave the slot empty, as there will be a blank placeholder there. Next, you will need to follow the same process for each of the eyes, just like so. Keep in mind that some DNAs have different left and right eye colors, so each eye needs to be set up individually. Now, once you're ready, it's time to add the static traits. These are the traits that don't have any animations, like hats, helmets and glasses. Find the FBX file for the trait you're wanting to add and drag and drop it to the objects panel and move it under head binding. This is where the static traits go. In the resources panel, select Clonex base material copy me. Duplicate the material by pressing Ctrl D or right clicking on the object and select duplicate. Rename the material by pressing F2 or by right clicking and selecting rename. You can basically rename it to whatever you like. Make sure your new material is selected. This will show the material properties in the inspector on the right hand side of the viewport. You can now drag and drop your textures in the graph parameters. Again, each texture provided should have a suffix of either underscore D, N, M, R, E. And as we did before, each suffix should be dragged into the right slot. Then, select the geometry and assign it the new material. You can then load the new traits, like the eyebrows. Make sure to put them in the right place, depending on whether they make up the facial expressions of the Clonex or not. For example, the eyebrows were moved to character expressions, like so. Now, for this particular animated object, we will have to create a new script. Click the Add Component button in the Inspector panel and select Expression Controller Clonex. In this section, you will select the object that you have imported and check Advanced and select Transparent Face Mesh. Now the eyebrows react with the other traits. Because this is a newly imported object, we also create a new material for it and import its textures like so. Then, we select the object and change the material to the new material that we just loaded. And that's it! Your lens is now ready to be published. Keep in mind that depending on the complexity of your Clonex avatar and the number of traits, you might have to repeat the above steps several times for each trait. Finally, to publish the lens, Snapchat already has a great guide you can follow, the link to which is provided in the YouTube video description below. 
Also, if you would like to use your brand new Clonex filter in video conferencing services like Google Meet, you can find another great guide in the description below to learn how to do that too.